So join me in welcoming Alan Robertson. Thank you, Will. Thank you. Hi, my name is Alan. I'm a genomics researcher. I currently teach one of the highest level genomics subjects in the country. And tonight, I'm here to talk to you about a very exciting genomics startup. So genomics is pretty simple. It's the some of the it's genomics is the genetic differences that make each one of us unique. When I first started doing genomics, it cost about ten million dollars to sequence a single genome. We can now sequence your genome for six hundred dollars. What excites me about this is the opportunities that this gives us. We can identify people who will suffer from degenerative diseases from day one and ensure that they get the best standard of treatment. We can tailor someone's treatment to their unique physiology. And we can understand what's driving someone's cancer at the most fundamental level. It's amazing. And it's why we've seen the government invest $500 million into this, 35 times the amount, or China's investing 35 times that in their own um, market, and the explosion of genomics companies. So the challenge with genomics is that there is so much data in there that it is very difficult to find out what it actually means, even for nerds like me. The thing is, that while it's difficult for me, dealing with this, I guess, standard big data problem, it's almost impossible for the people that need it, be it the doctors and their patients. Currently, this group relies on a group of specialists to help them navigate this. They do phenomenal work. They're literally descended from heaven to help us. The prob there's currently a huge wait list to see these guys, 18 months at least. And at the moment, they're only looking at a small handful of genes. There is a tsunami of data on the horizon. And if we want to realize the potential of genomics, we need to free them up so they're actually able to do what matters, which is help doctors and patients. To do that, we've developed a cloud-based genomics platform that takes processed genomic information and visualizes it. This allows the clinicians to very quickly figure out what's gone wrong, and it generates dynamic resources for the patient that can also be used to inform the primary healthcare team. We've designed this to be the interface between the clinical and the human sides of genomics. We've shown our technology to some people that are in, responsible for bringing this to market and bring, rolling this out to Australia, and they've described this as a missing part of a jigsaw. What separates us from the other parts of the jigsaw is our commitment to patient-focused. So while there are some amazing tools up there on the uh, top left, they're next to impossible for everyday people to understand. And the stuff that can be understood by everyday people doesn't really have the power to go forward. In the past six months at iLab, we've made tremendous amounts of progress. We've built a functional prototype, we've undergone user testing, and we've been cleared by the TGA. In the next six months, we're aiming to get a clinical pilot off the ground. We're going to work to integrate our solution with the medical record system, and we'll be expanding. I understand that expansion is a very generic term. But genomics is a growing area. It's a very nascent field. And the models to fund genomics differs between country, they differ between states, and they differ by hospitals. And I'm not going to get up here and just show a hockey stick graph that, that goes up at the end. <clears throat> Our business model to capture these markets will differ. And we're aiming to identify mentors that can help us best move into these spaces. I haven't done this alone. I have been able to attract some brilliant people to help me out on this. Our development team has got solutions developing complex, patient, complex solutions for health services, and our designer comes to us straight from Uber. We've also been able to attract an amazing mentor um, with experience in the medtech space, and another mentor with experience or who played a critical role in the Human Genetics Society of Australia. I've talked a lot tonight about genomics, but what I want to do is invite you to come and see what this actually means. <coughs> Sorry. Please join us in the demo pit so we can show you what, how we can be that human interface between, oh, sorry, how we can be your interface to genomics. Thank you very much. My name is Alan Robertson. Thank you.